The Utah Arizona border towns of Hilldale and Colorado City continue to evolve following the arrest of Warren Jeffs. Sadly, many FLDS members who remain in that area are struggling financially, but a new store aims to help. News for Utah's Lorne Mathias takes us to the store and explains how. From raspberry, jalapeno jelly, to pioneer bonnets, and even tools, everything here in this store homemade by those of the FLDS faith. All of these things right here are hand forged. As many FLDS businesses continue to be replaced by private businesses in Hilldale and Colorado City, Christine Marie, founder of the nonprofit Voices for Dignity, says not everyone is benefiting. While everybody's celebrating the changes, they feel a little bit driven out. Which is why Christine has been working on this major project, the Short Creek Cottage. Be able to pay their bills, be able to pay their taxes, which they desperately want to do. They want to stay in their homes. It's really hard to survive with that many children. Esther is a single mother of 11. I, I need a, an outlet to sell my products so that I could make money to take care of my children. From tools to tea sets, even rugs crocheted by Fiona, a mother of four. Like to do things with my hands to stay busy. The FLDS women can make anything. Today, volunteers helped clean, hammer, and lay flooring to prepare for the grand opening. David Bishop came from Salt Lake City. I'm just an old retired cop trying to do something good to help good people help themselves. And then there's Lamont Barlow, once FLDS, considered an apostate to those who remain faithful, but volunteering. You know, bridges are being built. People are, are, are starting to warm up to each other. It's a story of healing. The Short Creek Cottage opens July 3rd on Central Street in Colorado City. In Colorado City, Lauren Mathias, News for Utah.